On to our next question, we have 3x squared plus 12x plus 7. This is where we have to use that step number one, which we so far have avoided, okay, because of the question. So step number one said that you need to make the coefficient of x squared 1, okay. At the moment, you've got 3 here. So what we are going to do is we're going to divide the whole equation by 3 throughout. We are not just going to divide by 3 and reduce the whole um, um, expression by 3. We are still going to have that 3 hanging around, okay, by factorizing that 3 out. So what that means is if you take the 3 out and you use a square bracket here, and here you'll have x squared because when you multiply back with the 3, it will give you all of that again. So 12 divided by 3 is 4x. And then 7 divided by 3 doesn't give us a nice integer value, a whole number. So we're just going to have to leave it as 7 over 3. So this is where I've now taken the 3 out. And this is what I'm left with now. I'm going to be just focusing on dealing with that. 3, leave it aside and let it come back at the end. Right. Are we ready? So that's step one sorted, which is to make the coefficient of x squared 1. That's done. Step number two is to now use that bracket. And step number two is to divide this by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Take away that value squared. And we've got the 7 over 3 hanging around outside. And there we have it. So that can be written and simplified as minus 4 plus 7 over 3. Once again, we need to make 4 into a fraction so that we can add these two fractions together. Now, we want to make sure that that fraction that we have has a 3 as a denominator. So if we have, instead of writing a 4 here, if we have 12 divided by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and that's also have the, and they also have the same denominator so therefore we can just collect them together like now so therefore x plus 2 squared and then minus 12 plus 7 which is 5 over 3 we're done right no because we've been ignoring that 3 that we factorize out at the beginning we are now going to reintroduce this back into our working out and if I do that over here, it'd be easier so you can see. So that 3 that's been hanging around outside is now going to be reintroduced. And I'm going to write the answer that I've got here in here. So x plus 2 squared plus 5 over 3. And I've got my square bracket here. Now, all that's going to be left is to multiply this 3 with everything inside here. Now, I'm going to treat this as one term and this as another term. So I'm going to do 3 times by my first term, which will give me 3 with the bracket still, x plus 2, because all I've done is jump over the square bracket and multiply it now with that. And then I'm going to do 3 times by 5 over 3. Now, when we do 3 times by 5 over 3, what happens here is the 3's just simply cancel out like that. Okay, so end leaving me with just 5. So I can write 5 here. So 3 times 5 over 3 is just 5. And that is my final answer. So 3 x plus 2 squared plus 5 is this factorize using completing the square. All right, on to our next question. 2x squared minus 12x plus 9. Now, you've got to try one of these yourselves at home. So press pause here and press play again once you've done that so you can compare with my answer. Right, you ready? So what did you do? So did you divide by 2 or did you factorize that 2 out? Let's see. So 2 with a square bracket. So x squared. Now 12 divided by 2 is 6. So minus 6x. And then 9 divided by 2, we can't really write anything integer here, so we're just going to leave it as 9 over 2. You may have left it as 4.5 as well, which is okay, uh, but it's better to just do with fractions. Um, if you're doing this sort of question in your uh, GCSE paper, it means that you are a high ability student anyway, and you have to be able to do fractions. All right, so next, 
Um, we're going to ignore that too, and we're just going to focus on what's inside this square bracket. So our step number two, which was to divide the b by two. So we have our x minus three squared. So I've divided the six by two to get me three, and then I take that squared version away. And the nine over two is still loitering around, loitering around outside, and that can remain there. So what do I get? X minus three squared. That gives me minus three squared is nine, and then nine over two. That nine I'm going to replace with a fraction. So now what fraction um, can I have where the denominator is a two and it still gives me nine? It's going to be eighteen over two. So plus nine over two. Next, oops, I forgot that square there. Next, I'm going to collect those together. So it's just the top that I'm going to be collecting. So minus 18 plus 9 is minus 9 over 2. Hope you can see that there. I've forgotten the square once again. Be very, very careful here. Um, little mistakes like that can conf cause a lot of confusion. Uh, so this has now been uh, done here. That 2 I will now uh, introduce back to my working out. So I have 2 and then I'll write all of this. So x minus 3 squared minus 9 over 2. So I'll multiply the 2 with the first term, which is all of this bracket. So 2x minus 3 squared. And then the 2 will multiply with that. And once again, conveniently, the 2 and the 2 here, so they will cancel out. So I just end up with minus 9. And there is my final answer. Okay, um, last one of this type. So we have 3x squared plus 8x plus 10. Once again, do yourself at home and press uh, play when you're ready to join me again. All right, so take out that 3. So you have x squared plus uh, 8 over 3 this time. x plus 10 over 3. So what do we do next? Next, we are going to ignore that 3 and just focus on what's inside here. Now, this time, you'll notice that the b coefficient has a fraction. So let's see how we are going to deal with that. So we need to divide that 8 over 3 by 2. Now 8 over 3 divided by 2 gives increases that denominator, doubles it, so it's going to get 8 over 6. And then we are going to take away that 8 over 6 um, um, from here. So 8 over 6 squared, and that 10 over 3 is just rewritten like that. Now, 8 over 6 on both of them can be simplified just to make life easier for us. How? We are going to just reduce by dividing by both th these values by 2. So, um, what do we get? 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, we can do the same here. 4 over 3 squared. 3. Okay. So let's um, now work out um, this bracket here. So what do we have? We have minus 16 over 9 plus 10 over 3. Okay, now I'm, I don't know if you can see this uh, part of the board here. So I'm going to continue working up here. In fact, I'm just going to delete this because I only need this line here. And I'm going to continue and this as well. I'm going to continue writing up here. Don't forget I have that 3 to multiply with outside. I don't want to forget that, so I'll just write that there as a reminder. All right, so what do I have here? I have x plus 4 over 3 squared, and then I have um, 16 over 9. Now, can I do anything here? Divide both of these to make the denominator the same? Um, almost. I could have. I could divide this by 3, but 16 can't be divided by 3. So I'm going to have to increase this one um, by multiplying both of them by something to give me 9. And what is that? Well, if, if I just... Let me just write this out first. Okay, so what can I have that's still going to give me 10 over 3, but I'm, I want a denominator of 9. I'm going to be multiplying both top and bottom by 3, because that would give me 30 over 3. Now, 30 over 3 is still... 10 over 3. Okay, I haven't changed the actual um, value of the fraction. It's still 10 over 3. 
oops, sorry, 10 over 9, I'm sorry. Okay, it's 10 over 9, all right? So now I can add them together. So I can just do minus 16 plus 30. So x plus 4 over 3 squared, and minus 16 plus 30 is plus 14 over 9. So this is my answer um, that I've got for that. But remember, the 3, I have to reintroduce that 3 again. So if I do it here, so I have x plus 4 over 3 squared plus 14 over 9, and they go into a big brackets. Okay, so 3 times by all of this is 3 bracket x plus 4 over 3 squared, and then 3 times by 14 over 9, which we'll do up here. So 3 times 14 over 9. Now the 3 and the 9, um, what's common between them is they have 3. So they can both be divided by 3. So that's divided by 3 is 1. That divided by 3 is 3. So I end up with 1 times 14 over 3, which is 14 over 3. So I can just write plus 14 over 3. And that is my final answer for factorizing this using completing the square. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please share with your friends and family if you found this beneficial. And please help the channel to grow. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.